Hello, peeps! It is I, Leo Hightower, and welcome again to Oktoberfest 2024. I'm bringing you guys spectacular games, whether they be fighting, action, or just all around fun. And today's game is going to be. Dogstalkers Chronicle, the Chaos Tower. I have had much history with the dogs with this game, especially when I first got my PSP. And let me tell you, I got this set up a win because I knew that the Dogstalker Chronicles games were pretty fun and they were basically Dogstalkers. All the Dogstalkers game rolled into one nice little package with all the characters and the various endings and everything like that. The only problem is, it's on the PSP. But, I digress though. This is still a fun romp through the, ga the game series in general, Dogstalkers. And it had an extra mode with climbing the Chaos Tower as it is called... I'm going to give you guys a bit of a playthrough of Dogstalkers. I'm probably going to do two uh, playthroughs and I'm going to try to climb the Chaos Tower. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it, shall we? Later.
Rules. Sorry, just had to butt in real quick, but uh, the Dark Suckers games, well, they don't really uh, hold a precious place in my heart. But if I won't say if I won't say anything else, I will say that they are an ent entertaining uh, bunch of fighting games. I didn't really know about many of the characters until uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, and uh, uh, those games pretty much uh, told me who most of these characters are, like Felicia, Morgan, Hishenko, Lilith, and Dimitri. Aw, he's worried about his robot. Aw, poor kid. Sorry, but yeah. And, uh, I think, uh, when I later got this game, I started to 
dabble in, dabble in playing uh, dog stalkers uh, characters in the game. Because uh, I didn't know who Felicia was, but I did know of dog stalkers the game. I knew who Morgan was, I knew who Hushenka was, and I knew who Dimitri was, for the most part. But, anyway, regardless though, I still enjoy these characters for what they are. And all the various moves that they could pull off and everything. Seriously. And, uh... It wasn't until I watched Maximilian Dude and a few others play some of the games that I really got back into Dog Suckers. I owe them very much, so thank you. Some call me Johnny, and of course the Super Gaming Brothers, and of course, thank you Maximilian Dude. Felicia is not really my main to play this game with. It's been, I think, five years since I've last played the Chaos Tower. Hour. Let alone any Dog Stalkers game. Or Marvel vs. Capcom. But every so often I find myself gravitating to the games. Games and uh I just have a fun time with them and everything. Was uh Felicia my uh first crush? Making me a furry or anything like that? Well, no, not really. Uh, she was not my first crush. Uh, but I was woke when I first saw her because I'm like, holy crap, look at this cat lady. Look at her. Her beautiful white fur, her long blue hair, and just that tail in general. And the fact that she was a singer? Oh, wow. <laughs> the dog in the background just... Uh, But yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick before I did anything else. But yeah. <clears throat> Expect more gaming fun and more spooky moments uh, later on throughout the rest of October. As I go through Oktoberfest for this year. And if I don't see anything else, thank you guys very much for watching. And uh... I'll see you guys in the next videos and whatnot. I'm just gonna let the gameplay play out. Later, peeps.
Hey, Leo Hightower here, just wanted to interrupt this uh, part of the fighting right here, but in this little bit right here, you're going to notice the picture flicker and change color. Well, that's because my uh, capture device started acting up all of a sudden, but not to worry though, it fixes itself after a little while. Just wanted to let you know, but yeah, right here, uh, the color of the uh, capture changes, unfortunately, due to it acting up a little, but don't worry, it fixes itself after a while. So, you're in good hands. It fixes itself after a while, so don't worry. Ah! <gasps> 
Welcome to the Cradle of Life. Soon the preparations for the resurrections will be complete. You who have proven yourself and earned the right to become the key to the process shall step forward and partake of my charity and mercy.
The ceremony of relief conducted by the Savior Jetta had ended in failure, and this space the Demon Dimension has disappeared with Jetta. However, the sacred entity that he had prepared still remains. In the near future, with the mere passage of time, the Savior of Hades will revive. His mission is to unite all of the souls of this world in order to create a demon world as the one and only perfect society in this dimension. All life forms will return to where they belong. The Savior will return again and again until the mission is done. And we're going to ignore the fact that Morgan and Lilith were new during that scene. But seriously, that was Darkstalkers Chronicles The Chaos Tower. Ugh, this game is a thrill and a half to play, seriously. And uh, I will go into more depth with the Chaos Tower portion of the game next time. If you guys want to see more, please leave a like, leave a comment, and click on the subscribe button to see more. And Click the bell so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Until then, this is Leo Hightower saying, God bless and happy gaming. Oktoberfest is just beginning.